Gather cooking show. So at this time, I'd like you to gather your bucks and your does, grab a handful of grains, and let's start the show. So Hunt and Gather, this book, it's a story about a girl who was born a carnivore, who became a hunter and a chemist, evolved into a graniac, and was born again. Today we're gonna to do pan-seared wild venison. And what would you serve with wild venison? Well, I would serve it with wild rice. So along with our wild venison and wild rice, we're gonna serve citrus infused or lemon pepper roasted squash medallions. To begin, we'll work with our brown basmati rice and our wild rice. So today we're gonna to make two cups and we'll use a half cup of the wild rice We'll also add a cup and a half of brown basmati. So since we've added two cups of rice total to the pot, we're gonna add four cups of water. Now a lot of people ask if you should add oil or salt or anything extra to the pot of rice, and you really don't need to. But one of the things you might wanna add is a sea vegetable. This is one of my favorites. It's called kombu. And this is something that's very big in the macrobiotics diet, but it's really great in terms of the health benefits. I just break off a two inch section and I add it to the pot. Okay, so once you have your rice started, you bring it to a boil, give it a stir. Don't forget to turn it down to a simmer. Add the lid. We're gonna cook this for 45 minutes. So in this segment, I'm dedicating this episode to my father, Joseph Hoyt. We introduced him to hunting just a few years ago, and he has been hooked. He hasn't stopped since. What we're gonna cook today is an absolutely beautiful London Royal cut from a buck that my husband shot just a few weeks ago in icy cold Saskatchewan. So what we're actually working with is the leg of the venison. This is also known as the top round or the London broil, which some folks also refer to as the ham. Today we're gonna to work with a honey Aleppo pepper rub. Once you have a nice coating, just push it around a little bit, make a nice even coat. Okay, so we're gonna start with the venison. And the first thing we'll do Get the flame on high heat. What we'll do now is add about two tablespoons. We heat the oil to the shimmering point, which is just below the smoke point. So we're essentially blackening the rub on this venison. Okay? So I'm literally just going to dump a little bit more of this rub right on top of the venison. Just give the pan a quick shake to make sure it releases. You can see how the rub on top of the venison is now slightly blackened. Just brown it on each side for about two minutes, and now we're going to put it in the oven. I'm going to set my timer for about 10 minutes for a medium rare cut of meat. If you want to use the meat thermometer, you're going to cook it to 120 degrees, which is medium rare. So now we're going to make the lemon pepper squash medallions. And for this dish, I have a total of three yellow squash, a total of three zucchini. I'm gonna put the third zucchini in right now, and we're gonna use a mandolin to cut these into super thin medallion. Okay, so we're not even bothering with a cutting board. I'm literally just cutting these and slicing them right into the pan. I've got my cut-resistant glove on so I don't chop my fingers off. We're gonna to top the squash medallions off with a lemon pepper herb. For today, we're actually gonna use a mixture of plain lemon pepper that does have salt, and we're gonna add some red pepper flakes for a little heat. We're gonna use about a tablespoon and a half of the lemon pepper seasoning, right on top. We're gonna to use just a dash of the red pepper. You'll be surprised how hot it is. About a half teaspoon. Then we're gonna to top this off with a little drizzle of not Cavassier, but olive oil. And now you're gonna use your best kitchen tool, your hands, to just mix everything together. And don't worry about how perfect it is. Once you get it in the oven, it'll all melt together. Our 10 minutes is up. I'm gonna shut the timer off. I'm gonna take the meat out of the oven. If you wanna break down the venison and make it a tiny bit more tender and a little bit more flavor infused, what I like to do is we're gonna add about a half cup of wine. We'll turn the heat back up to high. You can hear it sizzle. And the other thing you'll want to do when deglazing the pan is use either a wooden spoon or a flat edge spatula to scrape down the bits in the pan and infuse them into the sauce. At this point, just boil the sauce down to the consistency that you want. Don't worry about the exact temperature. In this recipe, I do call for 400 degrees, but you could just as easily keep the oven at 380 
and throw this in along with the venison. Okay folks, it's the moment of truth. We've got the London broil out of the oven and we're gonna go ahead and carve it up. Now, something I'll mention is that when it comes to meat doneness, a lot of people like their meat to sort of come out mooing. In my case, I like it to come out bleeding. Our centerpiece and the gorgeous piece right in the front. So we're ready to also plate our rice. This smells awesome. All right, those are our medallions. And for the final touch, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of this beautiful reduced wine sauce right on top of the venison and a little on top of the wild rice. And today we're honoring dads and deer and to do so, here is the hunt and gather prayer. If we are what we eat, then God has bestowed us a noble treat. Venison from the white-tailed deer, so lean, intelligent, strong, and fair. We respect this heavenly herbivore who humbles us earthly carnivores. Because of your power, wit, and stealth, you instill in us patience, hope, and health. With your majestic crown and magnificent meat, we honor you through prayer and plate. Thanks to God's plan and our fate, we break bread now, always, and celebrate. Amen. And that, Bucks and Does, is how we hunt for joy. So here's to new daddy Chris, Saskatchewan, and big old Bucks. Amen, Dixon. Nice big heavy eight. Could not be more happy with them. Lots of mass, good length, big body deer.